Hello angels, I'm Miss Quiet Queen and welcome back to my channel once again. Well, today's video is going to be on a topic that I've been trying to tackle for a long time. Um, I've been talking bits and pieces about vibrations, numbers, the Merkaba, the chakras, and healing. I'm trying to get this whole thing to go full circle. Um, many people have questions on how to find their spirituality, how to um, connect with, um, you know, spiritual energies like their higher selves and your angels and just finding the power and the strength within. I suggest the latter first. Try to find your power within you and not allowing any negative energies to stifle or to slow you down or stop you. Um, I'm going to explain something to you that's been going on with me. I can sometimes get a little vulnerable because I make videos and I put myself out there. There are energies, human and non-human, that um, have a different agenda. That's what they're here for. Can't get mad at them for doing what they're here to do. Um, but they are here to try to throw their throw the stone and hide their hand and to slow down progress of um, those of us who seek spiritual advancement for ourselves and the world. Um, yeah, I've been attacked spiritually even most recently um, to the point that sometimes it can make you sick physically. But the thing that you need to remember that none of us is exempt from this. You just have to keep on pushing. Now I'm going to reveal some secrets in this video that um, for a long time information like this was privileged. For a long time, information like this can only be found um, either by word of mouth, you have to be chosen to get this information, or um, there's there's a section at your local library called the Red Book section, and these are books that you cannot take out. You have to go to your library and ask to see these just go to ask to see the red book section you know in my downtown library here in Cincinnati um, is separate from all of the other books so you have to go down this long hall and then you have to go in this area where you sign your name you put your purse and your wallet and everything you have on you in a locker you have to walk through these metal detectors and then you go into the, the to the they don't question why you want to go in there because it's public information but they are very protective all of these books are in a glass you look at which one and if there are some of them that they won't take out the glass but then there's some that they will allow you to take out the glass you have to sit there and look at it and read it you can't take pictures but you can write down what you see in it but you can't write in the books. And you also have to have on gloves for some of these books because they're really, really old. But um, if you don't know anything about that, look up the red book section or maybe they call it another name in your town. It's your lo local library. You might find information on many things that you didn't know existed. So go ahead and check that out. But I want to talk about something that you're hearing right now, which are the tones that you hear in the background. I want to talk about the strength in music and tones and vibrations and frequencies and why the music industry is so safely guarded by groups who want to control mass media. Because quite frankly, beloved, we are all created through sound, AKA music. That's just another word we put on it. Music is sound, sound is music. And music and sound 
um, come in many variations. When our earth was, when it was created, there was the movement, the movement created friction and the friction created tone or either tone created friction. I'm not really sure which came first, the tone or the movement. I kind of tend to believe that it's the tone, the sound. What you're hearing right now is what is called the sophagio tones. Now these tones are old, very, very, very old. Um, I think it originated from a country that is now known as Georgia. I'm not sure about that. But these tones are very ancient. And the Bible talked about these tones. You know, in one of the original Bibles talked about the tones and the existent, uh, how these tones help exist. Um, I keep saying exist. Um, shape the world how God created um, these tones in six days. And some people tend to think that it was really six tones. Um, uh, unfortunately, these Bi the Bible, for some reason, lost this information on these tones. And the tones, like what you hear in the background is Tone number 528. Now, they're give, I'm not really, don't get me wrong, I don't know this subject as well as I like to. I'm getting into it. As I learn, I talk about it because I think it's very, very essential that we know how we were created and why the so called powers that be want to control music and sounds and things you hear. Remember, I did a video when I was. I was talking about I'm hearing these tones, these sounds in the air. Where is that coming from and why? People get into the magical, and I say magical for, for you know, just for the lack of a better word, and use the word magic. And some people run scared with their tails between their legs because you have gotten so conditioned to believe that anything that you use by the, with the power of your mind is wrong. That's how the enemy stays on top of things. That's how the enemy keeps you down by making you feel that magic and doing things by your mind you know, by power of suggestion is wrong. You know, like back in the day when, when there was slavery and slavery comes, you know, a lot of people were in slavery, not just black people weren't the only ones in bondage, many people. Having said that, the only form of uh, defense was magic, you know, to do things like um, burning candles and incense and hair and things like that to help the enemy uh, or to stop the enemy from doing so much detriment and harm to a people. And so now we believe that it's wrong because the so-called powers that be don't want you to do this. So they tell you, they put it in church, oh, it's evil. They, changed, they had to change the Bible around, tamper with the Bible. Oh, magic is evil. Magic is this, magic is that. You're going to hell. But um, it's so, you know interwoven in our in the Bible that they couldn't take out everything else they wouldn't have a Bible because the Bible is well anyway I'm, <laughs> I'm getting off on the wrong subject here I just want to touch base on that a little bit but um, these these tones that you're hearing in the background this one is 528 and five to tone 528 just means um it is undoing it, it, it okay it's dna repair it's the tone that you listen to for dna repair um transformation and miracles it's called um uh, mi528 hertz um now what exactly does that mean hertz hertz is a measurement hertz um it's actually uh named after um a man his name was henrik 
Rudolf Hertz. He's German. Henrik, I think his first name is Henrik, Henrik or Henrik. Um, he was the first to show proof of electromagnetic waves. You know, there are many scientists that was trying to beat him to the punch with that, but he actually was the one that showed. Now, let me let me get a little bit further into it, okay? And I'm going to show you something that I want you to go and buy, if you can. Um, we're going to talk about these um, mandalas. Now, what exactly is a mandala? A mandala um, is a wheel or a circle. And um, it's also used as a healing tool. Okay, the mandala is used as, I'm looking at lots of notes because I want y'all to know everything I know. It is also a Sanskrit name, which is Indian. A lot of the things we use in the spiritual uh, community are Sanskrit words. But it is a spiritual ritual symbol representing the universe. And the basic symbol is like a square with a circle in it, then more squares than a circle. You know, um, these mandalas are a way to focus the mind and remove energy blocks. Any kind of energy blocks, like the one that you're listening to now, one I have up now in the background, um, is MI528 Hertz, which is, you know, transformation and DNA repair. Then there's one that if uh, you want to uh, alleviate uh, guilt or undo some type of situation or anything else. There's certain tones that you listen to, um, you know, and then there is a mandala, which is related to that. Um, I want to read something from a book that I have by Susan Prout. And um, in the book, it talks about colors that colors are language and each have their own frequency and speak of emotions and feelings as well as relay a physical force. Each can be used to influence our well-being. Each is capable of stimulating the mind or relaxing it. A mandala communicates how each individual is an integral part of the entire universe. It draws one's attention inward and enables us to understand its meaning and absorb it into the consciousness. It is through the conception, creation, and meditation with mandalas that one can and will receive messages from the universe. You can receive a message from the universe with the right mandala. This message are unique these messages are unique to each soul with a divine timing and purpose go back and listen to that part again okay the solvegio s-o-l-f-e-g-g-i-o frequencies are not new like i said before their original sound frequencies and um that uh were thought to have been lost you know a while ago but now they're found and i realized that these frequencies they have root numbers now um these frequencies are closely related to numerology and chakras and things like that now i am reading from this book here it is actually a coloring book and the reason why i say that is because this is what mandalas look like this mandala is 159, the universal frequencies. That's what that one looks like. Mandalas are geometrical shapes that have a lot of power and is used to assist the person who's doing the meditation. Here's another one. This one is remembering the secrets of life, 261 hertz. When, when you make certain tones and sounds, there's a break in frequency there's a break in nothingness does that make sense and it looks a certain way like if you were to put some music on 
you know, through a speaker, listen to some music through a speaker, and you put a bowl of water on that music, and it starts to vibrate, the water starts to vibrate, you look at the bowl of water, and you see certain shapes, that's because of the tone that is being put into the water. The vibration and frequency is is feeding the water, so to speak. And did you also know, beloved, that when you were born, when you were created, could see there were tones. There were certain tones and frequencies that were created during your conception, which has a lot to do with the type of person you are. So if you really want to get started with the root of things and find out who you are, you need to talk maybe about your parents. If they, Talk to your parents if they're not uncomfortable talking about your conception. Ask your mom how does she, how does she feel um, during your pregnancy and, you know, was she happy? Was she sad? Did she sing? Did she dance? Did, you know... Does she argue a lot? You know, different things like that. What were the conditions without getting into it? I mean, that's kind of gross. You don't want to ask your parents about their sex life. Don't tell them Miss Queen told you to do that. But you want to know the tone of how you were created and when, you know. That's very, very important. There is something called the Elawasaka, which is um, like the music of life. Um, much like the Merkaba, and there's someone who says that she can um, channel and find out what your uh, your tone, what your sacred music is. Don't fall for that, y'all. It's just like somebody saying, I can tell you what's in your Akashic Records. Y'all, please stop uh, giving people money to find out what's in your Akashic Records or what your true tone sound was, because what you hear in the background is how to awaken it's the tone and how to awaken your dna but there is a tone as i just said that was created when you were created that's only your tone how can they know what your tone is you know what i'm saying so don't fall for that mess um there is a dr moto i forgot his name but i do have his book he did a study yeah you know what somebody know what i'm gonna say about water and he did an experiment experiment with water and vibration and it really go look that up it, it really does work so anyway with this coloring book you listen to the tone like right now they have a, a, a cd out you listen to these tones as you color certain mandalas and whatever is in your heart whatever resonates in your heart is the colors that you choose. These are all different mandalas that are considered very strong once you put your vibration in it and you just pick up the crayon or pencil. I like using crayons. They look prettier than me. I don't like using um, coloring pencils. Some people use coloring pencils, but I prefer crayons. I guess it's the kid. I, mean, I don't know, but I can make it look really, really nice with crayons. You just keep it sharp. But anyway, um, this one is 372 Dimensional Openness. If you want to know more about that, this is what that sound, or that tone looks like if you were to put it on paper. Now, however you color it, that's up to you. Okay. So anyway, I just wanted to um, show this to you all, you know, um, and get this book. Um, the Universal Sophagio Frequencies. Forgive me if I'm saying it wrong. Um, this one is by Susan Prout, art .com. I got this when I was in Indiana from a store called The New Age People. And um, yeah, so I got a lot of nice things from that store. It's a very nice store. You can call them, and they will send you things online if you, um, if you want. They will, I mean, they will send them to your house if you call them. And um, you can, I, I'm not sure if they have a website with everything on it, but yeah. So check that out. Again, that's um, this is what it says. The so 
Sophagio mandula activation guide is what this is. And it's like a, this cost me $11. So do not let your children get a hold to an expensive coloring book like this. I call it a coloring book for like a better word. But anyway, that's, that's that. So I wanted to talk to you all about the tones. Like, you know, doing own and hue and... These are all tones and sounds. Now, hue, I, I think, is specifically for members in Akinkar. I don't know if that is one of the so, um, the sophagio uh, tones. But anyway, um, I'm still learning. We're still learning. And I just wanted to bring this to you. I thought it was so fascinating and um, I wanted to bring it to your attention and um, see what you guys thought about if you want to know more about that. Also, um, studying in the, on the ch chakras and the tones for the chakra. Don't get it confused, though, but there are tones for each chakra. I um, mentioned a CD a while back by Dean Eviston. Um, is on the chakras and it was a, it's a beautiful CD so please pick that up as well then if you can get the whole CD and not just download it I'd rather for you all to get the physical CD because it has a book that explains each chakra has this, um, the Sanskrit name next to it it has the color it has the chakra uh, and the position of the chakra it also has a prayer or activation statement for that chakra and tone. And the entire um, uh, cut or they're, they're different. There's an entire song for that, like a better word, for each chakra. Please get that by Dean Evanston. Um, okay. So that's all I have for right now. Angels, thank you so very much. For paying attention and um, listening to this video and trying to understand what I'm saying here but um, please rate comment, and subscribe and uh, I'll be back soon with some more information on this topic but I do hope that this did help okay thank you angels stand the light